How we doing you guys? Resonator here with you with another episode of The Good, Bad, and the Ugly, Episode 5. Hope you guys have been enjoying the last videos, 1, 2, 3, and 4 of The Good, Bad, and the Ugly, as well as all the montages I've been providing. Uh, we're going to have a lot more videos coming soon, promise you. I've got a montage or two coming up, as well as more Good, Bad, and the Uglies. We are going to be playing Terran Highway today. Attacker side or offense, depending on how you want to look at it. Oh, uh, you'll see it there. I don't know why, but I driving. I stopped and I started driving again. I was BSing with one of my homies, and he's like, "Man, go, go!" And I'm like, "You know what, dude? I'm just gonna take my time and I'll go when I'm damn well ready." All right, all right. <laughs> Anyways, here pulling up with the Amtrak. I hate this first MCOM on this base, um, mainly because when I really first started playing this map on a server that I really did enjoy um, the server that I played was no vehicles no mortars and it makes this first MCOM almost just impossible without the vehicles you really gotta have an Amtrak and a tank to really take out these first two MCOMs I think um, so here I'm playing on a server that I'm more comfortable and liking a lot more being able to use the vehicles and such like that so Hope you guys do enjoy all that. I have to say, I love this left-hand side when you pull up. Well, offensive left side, defensive right-hand side. Um, I love it. I love behind this building. It is a great hideout. You can really get away with a lot of stuff back here. You'll see a double kill there. I go, but I get double team, so I'm not too upset about the engagement. It's, it's really hard a lot of times to really take over. And, or take down a couple guys when you I mean you just get overwhelmed by assault or engineers or really any class you know unless it's two snipers you can usually take out two snipers fairly easily um, you see there are two men down died so I'm two and one come in off one of my homies here get one revive and then I get taken out right away by a sniper a little upset about the engagement right there but can't get too mad I mean sniper was just chilling back there and you know, what are you going to do about it? I love the snipe as well sometimes. I love the sniper class, the support class, I mean the support class, the recon class, excuse me. Um, but it's fun, it's fun. I had a good time playing this game. Um, one of my good friends called me Daddy, who um, you might have noticed from a couple games ago or the past Good, Bad, and the Ugly episodes. Most of these Good, Bad, and the Ugly episodes, I believe 3, 4, and 5, all were from one night. Um, I was just having a good night and playing up a storm, recording everything, and then when I finally got down to check out the videos, I noticed that I, I liked them, so I decided to do all three of them, and hopefully you guys like them as much as I do. Right here, I tried to go for that guy, I run him over, and I missed when he revived, and you'll see he gets up and runs off anyways. I don't know why Call Me Daddy jumped out right there. Big mistake on his part, he's probably pretty pissed off with himself. You know, I would be too. You jump out of the Amtrak and boom, you die in a second. That can be quite frustrating. Anyways, you'll notice we get B planted over here. And I don't know why I drove all the way over here to B. Maybe to help protect it. But I didn't think this one got planted. I actually thought A got planted. So it goes out. I should have stayed back there, but I didn't. One man down, and I go down. I'm not too upset about that engagement. Because at least I got one. I killed one. If I at least get one before I die, I'm not too upset about the engagement. I'm only really upset when I die before I kill somebody or I get sniped from a mile away you know looking at three and three right there about fifth place I think um, so I'm just gonna kinda hang out over here on B side and just uh, see what we can do maybe see if uh, I can help these guys out without pushing too hard because there's just defensive guys everywhere I mean they got an Amtrak or a tank back there couldn't tell what it was um, so I'm just gonna kinda hang out over here I kinda wanted to talk to you guys about uh, soon to be Battlefield 4, which we all know is coming out really soon, and also they've been talking a lot about, um, excuse me, I lost my train of thought, they've been talking about <laughs> Battlefield Bad Company 3 as well, that I'm totally psyched about, I'm, I'm, I'm really psyched about that idea, I was always, I mean, when Battlefield Bad Company 2 came out, it was best game bar none my favorite game I ever played revive again um, and I and I just loved it when battlefield 3 came out 
I liked it. I, I mean, I got into it. I mean, you can't argue with really any Battlefield game. But the whole prone thing kind of threw me off. I've, I've always been kind of a hater on prone. Not much of a cup of tea for me. I wasn't really into it much. Um, so I'm hoping when they do Bad Company 3 that they leave prone out. But I've been playing Battlefield Bad Company 3 for a while now. And I'm really kind of liking prone. I'm getting kind of used to it again. So now... I could go either way on it. It's really up to them. If they put Prone in, I wouldn't be mad. Um, but both games, all of the games, all Battlefield are great. I love the team play thing. I'm a big team play fan. Uh, my favorite game before this that I always used to play team-wise, uh, clan-wise, however you want to put it, was Counter-Strike Source. I always loved that game. Not much in the terms of, like, like Deathmatch. I hate Deathmatch. And I'm not saying I hate it because COD, everybody's like, Oh, I don't play anything if it's close to COD. Like, I won't even touch close quarters on Battlefield because it's it's too much like COD. Which I almost I really don't agree with that statement because it's conquest. You're playing conquest on close quarters, and I like that idea. I thought it's kind of cool. I like the insides of the buildings. I like the close quarter feel. It reminds me if you've ever played Counter Strike Source. It, um, I don't know what map it is because I don't have premium right now, but it reminds me of Office from Counter-Strike Source. And I love that. Revive again. I mean, I was a Revive Nazi on this map, or Revive Rambo, or Rambo Revive, as some would like to say. And and that's one thing I love about this game. It's, it's very a team-based game. you you got to help your team out. If you want to get anywhere, help not, you really got to play helpful. I believe I saw him right before he murdered me and got me... Great shot, great shot with that mortar. But I got revived right away, so I'm not really mad about it, anything. You know, I was watching... <laughs> excuse me. I was watching Saving Private Ryan the other day, and when I was playing this, that's all I could think about. I just, I couldn't stop thinking about that movie, man. People getting blown apart. Like, when I see somebody get hit with a mortar or a rocket, I'm like, oh, man. Or a grenade. Like, I'm just watching, thinking about the movie, looking at their insides, Bob. Like... It's crazy. I mean, I just, I, I'm more of like the dead brother of Saving Private Ryan. I mean, they probably went home to his family like, oh, you're, all your sons are dead. Just like all four dead guys right there. Excuse me if I'm being ignorant, but how the hell did I not kill that guy? I mean, I put half a clip, almost a full, well, half a clip hit him. And I, I bet you I hit him at least with one of those, one of those 40s. And a 40s, I'm saying it like it's a 40 mil or like I'm drinking a 40 and hit you with the bottle. But, you know, one of those 44s. And I don't know how I didn't get him, but, you know, I'm not too mad about it. My team was doing excellent. I was very, very proud of everybody on my team. Everybody was pushing very hard and not giving up. Everybody was helping each other out and doing what they could for each other. You know, throwing ammo, reviving, revive. I mean, I got revived quite a few times in this game. Maybe not as many times as I gave out revives, but I didn't really die as many times as some of these other people did. Let's see right here, another man down here, and I'm going to run in for that revive. Yep, go, go man. Red team, go. Red team, go. Revive. Push forward. I thought I could get this guy pretty quick. Couldn't. He jumped off the side, but I was not mad about it because three, two, one, double. And I dodged a rocket right there, which was just excellent. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are loving the video as much as I am so far, and it gets better. Anyways, this has to be close to one of my favorite maps for Rush, beside the first MCOM. If you have a decent team and you can get past the first MCOM, the rest isn't too hard. The first and the last, I have to say, are the hardest ones. The second one, which we are on right now, yeah. And the third one, when you get into the building structure and you get down to the double green stacks and stuff like that, that is my favorite. But there's another revive right there, just kind of helping the team out. Mr. Mega Vega went down. Another man running up here, another kill. Boom, boom, we're doing good. I mean, the only thing is we, we did get a little stuck here, but we end up getting past it and we keep on moving. And, you know, I, I will reiterate and say again, but I was very, very proud of my team. Everybody was trying, maybe not their hardest, but they were really trying hard and pushing and doing what they can. Second place, looking at 11-4 and four right there. So I can't complain. 
except for that guy is about 200 yards back of his spawn, and he doesn't even know what's going on in the real world. He has no idea, no aspect of understanding, you know? So, whatever. But I have to say, my whole team was filled with tiny particles of excellence. Everybody, everybody was doing their job, you know, just tiny particles and tiny particles as in each player of excellence. Everybody was just doing their job. And at times, that's all it takes to be a good team. You don't need everybody in your team to be number one Rambo. You know, if you have, everybody could be the worst player in your team, but if everybody's working good together, it's not even a big deal at all. So here we get A. A's about to blow. Uh, B has not been set yet, but it gets set pretty quick. So, you know, we're, we're talking about battlefields and bad companies and, you know, what have you guys been playing lately? Maybe not just online games, but offline? Are you guys been getting into Borderlands 2 a lot? Have you guys played or you guys have probably beaten by now? Uh, Tom Clancy's Future Soldier, um, you know, I was talking about that in the last two games, or the last two Good, Bad, and the Uglies, and I'm loving those games right now. Um, Resident Evil 6 is out, but it's not out for PC yet, as far as I know, and that's what I'm really waiting on. I'm, I'm just waiting on Resident Evil 6, I mean, I love that game. But anyways, beside that, I mean, tell me, tell me what you guys think, what, what you guys are playing, what you guys want to see if you guys would like me to uh, do a video or two of a different game or something let me know you know I, I always got time you know I don't always have time but when I have time I would love to do a montage a full video of something you guys would like to see so just you know let me know what intrigues you guys besides maybe Battlefield you know and I'll see what I can do about making a video or two for you guys to watch not that they're always the best videos you know I was telling my buddy at the beginning of the video how I make videos and that's what took me so long to drive off but I was thinking, you know, I shouldn't have told him I make videos. I should have told him I make sad videos. Because <laughs> a lot of times my videos are not really that great. And I appreciate you guys for watching my videos and knowing I'm not the best player. There's hundreds of people that are a lot better than me. I just have a fun time playing with my friends. And I like to record and watch my own videos. It's, you know, I don't always just record for you guys to watch my videos. I record so I can watch my own videos and see where I screw up maybe see what I can uh, better myself in and stuff like that right here boom get him I almost got knife luckily I had some blue guys there to help me out he saved my bazookas he saved me from getting knife and I thank him and thank everybody on my team but anyways we got past MCOMs 2 so we're looking at MCOMs 3 now and these are definitely my favorite right here kind of a stupid move push forward a little too fast should have kind of hung out and waited for the rest of my team to push with me instead but I can't be too bad about it I'm not playing too bad I'm doing okay right now so let's kind of see what happens and watch the rest of the video right here I spawn off call my daddy who's a good friend of mine which you guys probably all know by now if you watch my videos he dies I revive back up kind of hang out and um see if I can get him to come back over here and see if we can maybe make a push my whole squad's back here I think the rest of the team is above us we're the furthest ones back but I always kind of like to linger in the back every once in a while and just double check and make sure that there's no defensive ends <laughs> I sound like playing football defensive ends we got tight ends we got wide receivers you know but anyways you know just make sure that there's nobody hiding out in the back just with the sniper rifle just blasting us as we push forward because that'll I don't ruin our whole freaking day, and I'm not ready for that, so. So anyways, here we go. Finally pushing up, getting up with the rest of the team. About 140 meters from B, about 70 from A, give or take. And I'm always pushing forward. But, you know, this is revive central for our team. Everybody was just helping everybody out. It was, it was, it was excellent. It was, it was a fun match. It, uh, you know, I might have said on the last, on Good, Bad, Ugly, Episode 4, that that was my favorite Good, Bad, and the Ugly so far. But I lied. This one is my favorite so far now. So, <laughs> so I'm a liar, you know, quote me on it. <laughs> damn, Resonator's a liar. He's a, he's a damn hillbilly lying son of a bitch that doesn't open them windows when you ask him to. You know, <laughs> a lot of my family talks like that. They're not, they don't live in the area I live in. 
Um, but when I head out of state to go see them, it's 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 a hoot, if I might say so, listening to them talk. Because it's, you almost don't understand. Like I, I know everybody probably here has one aspect of the family that's like just different from everybody else, you know, or different, not a culture really, but just a different, you know, ling, linguine, oh, I can't say that, I was going to say like linguine, yeah, different, we, we all have different spaghetti, you know, <laughs> but they all have different ways that they say things, different, you know, ways they pronounce things, different, you know, terminology, different words that they use when they say certain things. You know, so it's, I know everybody has somebody in their family like that, and you can't tell me it's not very funny, and I, I get a kick out of listening to my family yander and yak about things that just really always don't make sense in my mind, or I just don't understand what the fuck they're talking to me about, excuse my language. I'm a cursor. I'm a cursor, and I'm not a mouse cursor, I'm just a cursor, a cussor, a cussor. And I can't help myself sometimes. I apologize if it offends any of you young tykes out there. Look at that wobbly tree. The tree just doesn't want to go down. He's like, no, I'm shaking. I'm a shaker. It's a, it's a Dawn of the Dead. Look, it's a Twitcher. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. It's been out for a while, but I always crack up when he says that. When they got that Twitcher in the thing, he's like, look, it's a Twitcher. That's what the guy on the TV says. You know, that's that's one of those redneck hillbilly looking motherfuckers. <laughs> no offense. And I, it's just funny, you know. I live out of here, if any of you even bother to care. I live in New Mexico, which I used to get a lot of shit for back in the day. Because if you're not from New Mexico or Texas, Arizona, or this, you know, western, nor or southwestern states over here, you don't know what New Mexico is. Everybody thinks it's part of Mexico. You know, it's like, oh, you live by Chihuahua? You live in Mexico? Over What is that like? A, is that like a city in Mexico? It's like, no, it's a state in the United States right above Mexico between Arizona and Texas. And it always used to crack me up when people would tell me stuff like that. Like, oh, you live in Mexico? I'm like, no, I live in New Mexico. I'm like, come on. And it's funny. You know, I, I know a lot of Spanish just from living around here. If you guys would like to hear me say some, maybe I will, but... I only like to cuss in Spanish because everybody pisses me off that I work for. I work with a, a lot of Mexicans. You know, I work in a Mexican restaurant uh, serving food and stuff like that. It's actually a new Mexican restaurant, which means it's Mexican food with twice as much cheese or twice as much concentration. <laughs> Anyways, right there, get taken out again by the same guy, Middley. He's, he's getting me, but they got him back, so I'm not too upset. And I get the revive again, you know. I'm just loving my team, man. We are all helping each other out. We're all reviving each other. You know, we got A finally a minute ago. B over here is beeping off. So, you know, I'm just going to stand here and make sure that nobody touches it. Looking at about 25 tickets left. If we don't get it right here, it might be a close one. It might be Death Valley. And I think that's what this last MCOM is. Not this one, but the last two after this. It reminds me of Death Valley. There's nothing to hide around. You have the fountain, you know, and you really got to, ooh, I thought I had that revive. I thought I had the revive, but I didn't, you know. But <clears throat> it, there's nothing really to hide around. You got to either flank hard left or hard right, and there's there's nothing really there to subdue the enemy or, you know, the, to cover as you're running in. You just, you got to hope for the best most of the time, and it really sucks. This is a very hard one, and they get a tank right away, so it's it's really a pain in the butt. You know, I have to say on this MCOM, I really love this right hand side because you can sneak around usually. Because most of the time, the the defensive side, and me included, when I'm on defensive side, love to take the left side or cover cover my left, their right, you know, A side. And most of the time, they don't cover the B side. So I love to take this side, but it's not always the best. You know, it, it always depends on the team you're playing, the people. That's what I always loved about Battlefield or any uh, immense first-person shooter like this. That, you know, the maps are open this wide, per se. Because it just, you never know where anybody's going to come from. You never know where anybody's going to be camping out, hiding, um, doing what they have to do. And it makes for a struggle in a game. Because you want to be in front of the MCOMs to push us back so we're not right. Because 
you don't want to be right behind them to where we can have time to plant and then you have to run to defuse. But if that's not working out for you, double kill. Pretty much. Close enough. <laughs> you know, you got to be a little in front of them to kind of push them back. And if you're not, you know, they're going to they're gonna mess you up. You know, but they had, they had us right there, right at this building. We could not really get past this building. I think I get past it one time and get up over towards B side. And I just, I couldn't do it. Nobody on my team could. I think maybe we get one MCOM, but don't quote me on that. I'm truthfully just chit-chatting and guessing, actually, because I watch so much Battlefield footage a lot of times that I tend to get the videos or the games mixed up from time to time. I'll be remembering a video from, like, five months ago. Ooh, nice 40 mil or a 320. So it's it's kind of a pain for me, so I try to remember as much as I can, but I'm kind of like a brain fart, you know. You tell me something, I'll forget it pretty pretty quickly. And revive, let's get that. Oh, I missed. Revive. Oh, took two times. I have, I want to put this clip on here if I can find it again, if I haven't already deleted it. Um, but I swear, I revived this guy six or seven times, and he didn't move one time. Like, he's like, nah, nah, I'm not getting up, nah. I'm just gonna lay here, take a nap for a minute, you know, and I'll get up when I damn well, please. Just like I said, told my buddy at the beginning, I'll drive off when I damn well, please, you know. It's my Amtrak, if you don't like it, you get out, <laughs> you know. But <laughs> anyways, still haven't gotten any of the MCOMs. We're looking at 58 tickets, you know, so, and see what we can do, let's see. Got Call Me Daddy and a bunch of my buddies pushing up here, so I'm thinking, all right, all right, let's do it. See if we can help them out and we'll push up with them. And the closest we get is, like, right up over here. We just could not get up in B. I think what was happening is we were all bottlenecking up on this right-hand side. You'll notice, see, look at all those blue guys. And quite a few dead guys, but, I mean, look at all these blue guys over here. I mean, there's a lot. And there's only a few on the back side. But it was a fun game. I, I have to say, I really enjoyed playing with this team. I wish I could have more of these people that were in the game with me on my friends list. I don't know how many explosives I just destroyed there, but a few. But, you know, I, like I say, I wish I could have a few of these people more on my friends list because these guys were just kicking butt. We were, we were doing it, doing it, and doing it, and doing it. Well, I hate that song. My buddy legs that song and we were drinking the other night and hanging out and he was playing it and it just totally got stuck in my head so <laughs> screw me shoot me if you have to i'm gonna shoot myself if i end up using that song again in a reference or another video i swear i'm gonna hate myself the rest of my life no but this is about as far as i get right here in this cubby hole i could not get much further these guys had a great defense on these mcoms and i think this last one has the, one of the hardest <clears throat> couple homies go down there one goes for a revive I'm saying I'm getting the heck out of here I'm not hanging out in that death valley hole look at that boom boom if I would have stayed in there I would have been dead as those three guys so I'm glad I got out and thought smart because a lot of people in this game do not think smart looking at 22 tickets well, I don't even think we even set one of them right here I'm thinking okay I'm gonna get out of here and circle around and the tank hits me Pushes me to the side and gets me killed. I was so mad at that tank. I was ready to kill that guy in the tank on my team. I was like, I'm going to shake you to death and break your little flabby neck, you mother... I was, bad. <laughs> I was pretty pissed. You know, because if that tank wasn't there, I could have gotten out of there. I wanted to make a UV in the back, closer to our spawn, and come up on this left side and side and see if I could at least get one of them planted. Couldn't do it. Looking at about eight tickets here left. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos up to now. Let me know what you guys think. More to come. Promise you. Hope all's well in your life, in Battlefield and everything else. I'll catch you guys next week or next time I have time to upload a video. Take care. Resonator out.